start tonight. Meets a formidable opponent. In the Australian heavyweight wrestling champion, Pat Meehan, whose weight is now being checked by Dave Levin. The first half of the semifinal event of the evening. Two falls out of three, 45 minute time limit. In the white corner, from Turkey, weighing 220 pounds, Ali Pasha. In the black corner, 232 pounds from Australia, the Australian champion, Pat Meehan. Let's go, Allah. The referee is Mike Ruby, popular Pomona, California sportsman, appointed by the Athletic Commission of the State of California to referee. This two out of three falls, 45 minute time limit match. Between Ali Pacha, who is in his red flannel, cake like robe with his red pants, black muscle. Mayhem, his opponent, Sydney, Australia. Australian heavyweight wrestling champion, in a modest black satin robe, tight and red. Presence out of the black corner in green trunks. Information regarding forearm smashes, the point of the elbow. Pasha, who removes his robe, it's lined in black satin. Off comes the Fez, and he's quite far. His suit adornment is confined to his jowls and his chin and moustache. They wait for the hammer to fall. There's the bell for this event. Two out of three falls, 45 minutes. Mehan takes a reverse side wrist lock on the left arm of Pasha. Drags it with a sit-out. Moves it up to hammerlock position. Takes it from the top. That's over the shoulder from the back. Key locks it. Pasha moves into the ropes, gets an off-balance break. Back to the referee's standing referee's position. Ali Pasha now with a left arm side headlock, coupled close. He tips the short hip roll to the mat. Chin locking his ref, his headlock. He moves into standing position again. Places the heel of his hand against the nose and presses hard. Securing his headlock with a chin lock with the left hand. Again, that heel of the hand, pressing into the nose. Inside the upper arm, lots of leverage in there. <laughs> Takes Pasha with it before Pasha can reach around and chin lock him. Pasha's roll is forcing Mehan up into a bridge over the body, but his wrist lock is still good. He's outside the arm with lots of leverage. He can keep it there. The fold doesn't take the fire out of him. Pasha sends him into the ropes to hope he gets the hole broken, and he did. Mike Ruby says, step back. Oh. 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 takes an off-balance advantage and sends a forearm. Crash into the neck. Get it off the chin, the forearm. Put him along the chest. Again, that off-balance and Pasha chin locks him in and sends another forearm. Ruby warns him about a breaking. After an order to break, a clean break to be made. Wouldn't it be wonderful? As a hand, hand lock, 
to reverse judo. It's taken inside. It's a reverse from the judo attacking handlock. It's out on the fingers, holding all four. Masha bridging to his shoulders. At a count of one, he hooks it trunks. Gets an advantage. Spangles the left leg in a cross position and goes for the trunks. But Mike Ruby's going to watch it. The line from the audience sends him away from his shoulder count to watch those trunks. Got to do something with it. In the trunks goes Ali Pasha with a right hand out. Mike Ruby says, stay out of there. Pasha loses his hold for that rope maneuver. Headlock now. Sends a forearm and drops Pasha with it. Oh, Nelly. Oh, way, go oh, way, way. Or oh, the Turkish equivalent of that. Go out of the world. He wants me and to spread out somewhere else. Top wrist lock outside the upper arm. Got lots of leverage there. His chin lock from the top. That's Greco Roman style wrestling and a very good move. It's a block for a wrist lock. These men who come from the continent, from uh, Europe and Asia, come with all the knowledge and cunning and craftiness of the Oriental and European wrestlers. Good use for it in our catches catch cam type of wrestling here in the States. Pirate fan has picked the fight with Ali Pasha down there. Pasha headlocking from the top sends a rapid punch into the neck. He doesn't speak to the ringsiders, he hisses. Too much strangulation for a left forearm. Mike Ruby broke it. Lock from the top again. A marelock set by Meehan, and he uses it, gets rid of the guy with it. And again, the snap mare. Body scissors. Flips into it. Now makes his scissors good. Side body scissors. Meehan recognized both in down yonder, down under in Australia, New Zealand as a tremendous leg man and he certainly demonstrated it here in his appearances in the States. That was known as fishtail. What he's doing now. That is feathering. Position that Mayan wants him in for a count. Wants him to relax there for three seconds. Pasha keeps the left shoulder up. Now we're down for one, and the right goes up. Meanwhile, the scissors are wearing down the breathing ability of Pasha. Decides to get off that canvas where his shoulders will be counted. Oh, scissor slam by Meehan. Stuff on his own leg, the under one, the right one. Meehan again lifts him and slams him out. Lifted him up like a baby, hooked him at the knees and under the shoulders. Cloud is trying to count that third count for Mike Ruby. Asha chin locks. Meehan sends the scissors out. It's a little low for effect. Now his feet are better. 